just sort of come around Ken uh, with a sort of uh, enclave of support. And in just a moment, we're going to be laying hands on Ken and just praying over him, uh, sort of commissioning prayer, really, as he makes this exciting transition to a wonderful sister church in the area, Loudonville Community Church. And we want to bless him and uh, just pray this prayer over him as he makes that transition. But Ken, would you take time now just pour your heart out, brother, and share a little bit. Okay, thanks. First thing I want to say is I have a Ford Escort in my driveway. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but, uh, you know, some of my favorite verses come from the book of Proverbs and the book of Psalms. And uh, in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I just love that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. And Isaiah 40, verse 8 says, I desire to do your will, O Lord. And that's really been the heart cry of mine is to just, no matter what I see going on around me, no matter what my understanding is of the situation, try to trust in the Lord with all my heart and believe that He will lead me and He will guide me. And uh, so I believe that He's leading and guiding in this change too. And I just want to thank Pastor Rex and the elders here that they believe that they heard God's voice in bringing me here 14 years ago. And it's been quite an amazing ride. And uh, I'm thankful for a lot of things and a lot of people. So it's kind of like an Academy Award. I'm going to stand here and try to thank all these people. But I am so thankful for the staff here, those who I've really gotten to know and to pray with and, and to share with. And they encourage me and they love me and they listen to me and they pray with me. And uh, that's been a, really bless a real blessing to have people in my workplace who I feel really care about me. And I'm really thankful for you as a congregation. And I'm thankful for those of you who are joining us on the internet every week. Because it's so good when the body of Christ comes together to worship God. And it's such a thrill for me to just hear hundreds of voices lifted to God in praise. There's nothing like that. And I really appreciate some of you send me emails or send me notes or have an encouraging word at the end of the service. It's just, I really appreciate that. I thank God for that. You know, I thank God for these teams that I serve with up here. There's people that play up here with me every week, and those that sing with me up here every week. And many of you have been involved in choirs up here. You know, we've had men's choirs and biker choirs and kids' choirs and Easter choirs and Christmas choirs and celebration choirs. And it's probably hundreds of you that have been up here with me, and it's just been such a blessing to worship God with you and to serve with you and to have community with you. Um, I'm so thankful for my sound guys and our backline crew and all those volunteers that serve in the back room doing video and projection and lighting up, uh, broadcast, unsung heroes you never get to see you know, because they're never up here on the platform. But I couldn't do what I do here without them, but it's more than that. We, we become family, and uh, I just really love these people up here. And uh, I want to thank my family, of course, because uh, my wife, Polly, has always supported me, my son Chris, and, and his wife Hillary, and my daughter Kelly, and my, my, my daughter Mandy, and my son Kevin. They've all served with me up here at one time or another. Um, they've spent years of their life in church because of what I do, but they've always been an encouragement to me, and they're praying for me, and they're supporting me in this change, and that's really great. And I thank God for who he is. I mean, I don't know if you got to see the sunrise this morning. Probably weren't up. You're the 11 o'clock folks. But um, it was beautiful. You know, go out and see the stars at night. They are just awesome. That's the God that knows you and loves you and cares about you so much that he sent Jesus to die in your place and pay the price for your sins and my sins. And Jesus has redeemed my life and given me purpose. And... Uh, so thankful for that. And the Holy Spirit just has been so patient with me and so gracious in leading me and speaking to me and, and allowing me uh, to follow him. So I want to thank you all. God bless you. And uh, it's been a really great ride. Thank you for worshiping.
not liked very much. <laughs> uh, you have brought consistency and excellence week after week, month after grueling month, year after long year here at the platform. We are so grateful for you. We're grateful for your ministry and your worship leadership among us. And you guys need to know that in a, a kind of a quaint staff meeting this Tuesday, we're going to be grilling Ken pretty good, okay? Kind of roasting him, you know what I'm saying? So we won't get into any of that now, but we do want to pray for you now, and we believe that God has a great plan. Loudonville is already a great church, but it's going to be even better because of your leadership there. I really believe that. So, We thank you for the gift that Ken Terrell has been and is to this church. And Father, as he makes this exciting transition in life and in ministry, I pray that you would make this coming season of ministry his most effective ever. I pray that your hand, your spirit, your moving would be all over the people of Loudonville Community Church. Already you would have people in mind that are going to be reached through the efforts of this dear, dear congregation. Father, I pray that you would prosper their efforts and make Ken's leadership there particularly blessed in these days. Father, we thank you for what you're doing at Grace and in all the other churches of the Capital Region who preach Jesus as Lord of all. I pray that, Lord, as your spirit continues to do what you alone can do, that all the ships in the harbor would be raised. I pray that we would all be blessed by you. Thank you, Lord, for your love. And we praise you. And all of God's people agreed and said, Amen. Amen. Amen.